It is interesting that many patients will relate their visual snow syndrome to a recent event or whether that be uh, trauma, emotional or physical, or infection, or exposure to a particular drug, or not. To be honest, we haven't been able to identify any particular cause. My own suspicion is that patients have this disorder from childhood. And in the same way that we see patients who have a squint or a lazy eye, strabismus, whatever you want to call it, that doesn't become manifest until later in life when their brain can no longer hold up the strain of compromising or compensating, I think this probably happens in the visual snow syndrome. That people have the disorder, they are able to compensate for that and filter everything out, but then something happens or alternatively just sufficient time passes, they can no longer compensate and they become very aware of their symptoms. There may or may not be a familial or genetic component, not totally proven at this stage.